Hi viewers, I welcome you back to this channel Technical Drawing Masterclass. Today we are going to look at um, isometric drawing. So we have been given this uh, drawing in orthographic projection, probably third angle. So now we are going to draw it in isometric projection. So first we are going to draw a horizontal line. So we have this point Y. This is going to be our point of view. Like imagine you standing here and you view this object that you are going to draw at this uh, point, but in this direction. So let's get started. So this is my point Y. So I bring my contractor and I place it there at that point Y. Then I will measure of 30. Then also decide or measure of 30. Then I will also measure of uh, 90. Okay. So when you're done, I will join these points. I'll join them using my ruler. So now uh, we have these axes. We call them isometric axes, whereby we shall call this the x axis. We shall call this the y and the z axis. So now remember, we have this point y, which is this, in this direction here. So when you're done, we're going to start interpreting this drawing in orthographic projection. So we shall, whatever measurement we take off here, we shall present it here, right? So let's, let's get started. So according to our symbol here, this is the, the symbol for third angle projection, whereby the plan is ever the top and the uh, front elevation is ever at the bottom base. So according to this, our front elevation is this and the plan elevation is this. So when you stand here, we have uh, 60 millimeters and the height will be uh, 20. Then uh, the overall height will be 60. Okay, so I'll come at this point, I measure off my 60. I'll probably use my small set square. Okay. So now I also measure of sixty this side.
So when you're done, we shall measure off uh, 20 millimeters. So I use my small set square. I put it against this y axis. I slide off that y axis to that point, making it parallel. Then I also do the same thing this side. Okay. So when you're done, we shall measure off 25 millimeters, right? So I will measure off 25. So put at that point measure of 25. So I join these two points. So when you're done. We have uh, 40. And 25 but now we want to get uh, this distance here right so we shall get uh, 40 minus 25 which is around 15 so along the z-axis measure of 15 so using your set square power out one of the lines I'll draw off that line okay so now the overall height is uh, 60 from the front elevation back to your x-axis I'll measure of 60.
okay when you're done we shall still uh, transfer this point to, the, to, to this um, other line which is at 60 from the z axis So I'll also drop our lines from here. Okay, so when you're done, you join this point to that point, I mean this. Okay, so now we'll remember that uh, we have this middle part of the drawing. So, we want to get uh, the distance of this portion here right from this edge. So remember, our total length here is 60, and, uh, and the measurement of this figure here, it is 10. So I'll get my 60 minus 10, which is 50. I'll measure off uh, this distance. Which is 25. So at your drawing, measure of 25 is exactly there. Then after, measure of 10, which is also there. So parallel to the x-axis, I'll draw up that line. Okay. So. We also transfer um, this 25 here to this line here. When you're done, I I will join this this point to this point, and also this point um to this point here. Okay. So you find that um, we are yet to come to the end. So uh, I'm going to bring out the real figure that we've been looking for.
from the orthographic to isometric. So I'm going to, to make it thick. So you find that uh, this is the figure that we've been looking for. So we're going to put uh, the measurements. Okay, so you find that uh, this measurement here is uh, 60. This is 20. And this is 60. So this is 60. This one will be 25. And this will be 10. Then also this one will be 25. So this one will be 15. Okay. So we have come to the end of this video. Uh, if you have really found something hopeful and it has really added value to you, you can support this channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. Thanks for watching. We'll meet next time.